long hidden novel Go Set a Watchmen will hit store shelves. This is the follow up to To Kill a Mockingbird. The book is generating plenty of controversy with word that beloved Mockingbird character Atticus Finch is portrayed as a racist. I want to see the book Diana Rocco is live in Mount Airy tonight where this book has a lot of people talking, Diana. Certainly a lot of buzz, Jessica. In just a few minutes from now, those boxes will open and literary fans will find out what becomes of their beloved Atticus Finch as this new book paints him in a whole new light. Go Set a Watchman, Harper Lee's much-awaited sequel to To Kill a Mockingbird will hit store shelves at midnight. The books still boxed have arrived and Mockingbird fans are counting the minutes. It's such a moving story and it's completely culturally relevant to where we are today. I am trying to go into the new book, you know, with an open mind and realize that sometimes your heroes do let you down. And At Big Blue Marvel Bookstore in Mount Airy, Sarah Sawyer's Love It and Grace Gordon are holding a viewing of To Kill a Mockingbird, followed by a midnight readathon. It's the literary event of my lifetime. The manuscript written by Lee before To Kill a Mockingbird has been waiting 50 years for publishing. It's already gained national attention after a chapter was released in which Scout, the now grown-up Jean Louise, finds her father, the beloved 72-year-old Atticus, has attended clan meetings and advocates for segregation. It seems that it might shatter the image we had about Atticus. In To Kill a Mockingbird, Atticus Finch defends a black man falsely accused of rape in the 1930s in Alabama. He was portrayed by Lee as a hero with a strong moral compass. Professor Guriji Nagaswamy, head of the English department at Philadelphia Community College, says Watchmen could change everything. At that time, it was opening up eyes and minds to how we look at race relations. To Kill a Mockingbird won a Pulitzer and found its way into school curriculums across the country. But it seems Lee may have had more in mind. Often there are no clear lines as to what is absolutely right and absolutely wrong in the way you view the world. So this bookstore will be open all night with people busily reading cover to cover to find out what happens. Harper Lee, the author of this book, is a notoriously private person. In fact, she's only given one interview in the last 50 years. So we may never know what she was thinking here, but fans are certainly determined to find out how this story ends. We're live in Mount Airy tonight. I'm Diana Rocco, CBS3 Eyewitness News. That they are, Diana. Thank you. Well, tonight